New shooter coverage of NAB 2025 is sponsored by B&H Build Expo, June 17th and 18th at the Javits Center, New York, and Atlas Lens Co. Hi, it's Matt here for NewShooter.com at NAB 2025. I'm with you at the Do Lens booth. Now, this is your brand new series you're announcing here at the show of uh, Cambrian medium Cam format yeah. coverage um, yes. Cinema Prime series. Tell me about them. Okay, this is the new product of our uh, medium format series. So, uh, I think uh, this is maybe the first one set for medium f format lens. Um, so these were specifically designed for um, cameras like the upcoming Fujifilm uh, Eterna, yes, the Blackmagic uh, Ursa CD17K, etc., etc. Yeah. Et et so these are some of the first lenses that will completely cover all of those sensors. Yes, of course. They can cover medium format, uh, even Alexa 65, and uh, also the full frames. And in terms of focal lengths, what are the focal lengths you have available and what are the T-stops? The Okay, they are all T2, and for now we have four T55, 77, and 105. And in the future, we will uh, come out with maybe 30 and uh, 135 for close focus, and then we'll come out with uh, 24, something like that. And these, these are, I mean, they're really small for medium format yeah. lenses, even with a T2 um, aperture, mm -hmm. very small and compact. Um, yeah. How long have you been designing these for? Oh, it's more than two years. Uh, it's hard to make it this small. And in terms of um, front filter diameter, um, what are they? Oh, 80. This, they are 80 and the, the scroll is uh, 72. And these are available in PL mount and LPL mount or just yes. PL mount? Just PL mount and we will do EF mounts uh, in the future. but. Mostly the HPL mount. And, and obviously we're seeing a, a demand uh, with a lot more cameras coming out, medium mm -hmm. format sized, or, you know, maybe calling them medium format is a little bit of a stretch, but larger format sensors. Mm -hmm. So there is this definite need for more lenses to, to sort of come out and you've jumped on it pretty early. So um, do you think these are going to be pretty popular? I hope it could be a popular. <laughs> In terms of the, of the look, um, mm -hmm. are they, do this have sort of more of a vintage feel? What's the characteristics of the lenses? Uh, the, the coating is just like the Mini Primes. And we reduce the, uh, I, how, I, I don't know, the, the ghost image. So it looks like more clean and more modern. So a little bit more modern than your, your current APO yes, Prime, Prime yes. series. Yes, yes. So I think you, you could think, consider it a a modern lens with a vintage coating and I will do some you know character uh, filters for it uh, one is in the front and one in the back and uh, it can make some just like the uh, spinning a spinning uh, book just okay. like that yeah <laughs> so in, in, in terms of um, I, I guess when you're designing lenses to cover huge sensors like these mm -hmm. Are there anything specific that you have to do? Do you have to make them slightly sharper or...? Uh, for now, they are sharp. You know, uh, in the medium format uh, market, a uh, lot of people do rehearse the, the, the old lens, then they are not sharp. There is no sharp lens in the medium format uh, market, so I do the first sharp, modern, clean lens for, for the people, you know, they like the medium format. Okay. And in terms of um, pricing and availability, any idea how much they were going to cost and when they'll start shipping? Oh, we are not decide the price yet, but I think it will be around uh, 1500 to 2000 And when are they expected to ship? I think it could be within three months I can ship it. The, oh, the full one, 40, 55, 77, uh, 77 and the 105.